They say play, we've been looking for you. You know where to find me. Posted with my niggas in that DMV behind me. Man, I hope you all about yours. Cause I'ma be all about mine and nigga, it ain't about who you with. It's all about how you grinding when you spit is you saying shit. It's not about you just rhyming. I don't do this for no pictures. I don't do this for no shining. Riding down a straight path and they just trying to swerve my line and ask me why I took a break. Say it's all about the timing. <laughs> Same combo when they call, but just another number. What up, YouTube? This your boy down low back with another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. And for those who don't know, man, that boy Chris Kelly, better known as the Mac Daddy, the brown skinned guy out of Chris Cross from way back in the day, man. He died at age 34. Now, what they're saying is they went to his crib, man, and they found him just unresponsive, rushed him to the hospital, and he died. At 34. And that just makes me question, like, what the fuck really happened? You don't really die of natural causes these days at the age of 34. Something wasn't fucking right. Like, was he sick? Rest in peace to that man. But on to today's reply. And today's reply is to that Jay-Z, $100 bill. And you know what? I listen to this and I really can't get behind it, man. First, that beat not really feeling it. I like the way Jay-Z is doing what Jay-Z always does, which is not follow any trends, not try to get beats that everyone else is getting, try to get that new shit, but ultimately this one just was a little out there. Now, but it is pretty interesting, man, once you break down the lyrics and what he's actually meaning in that shit. Now, what all he's saying in this song is, shit hasn't changed from back in the 1930s and shit till now. He begins to compare things that happened in the past, like the damn stock market crash, to today's motherfucking stock market crash due to the housing market shit. And the one main constant throughout the whole song and throughout life, I guess, is people chasing after the fucking money. That's pretty much what this song is about. And you know what? I like that concept, man. I just wish the song would have followed through a lot better. And also using excerpts from the movie The Great Gatsby as your hook. Just like I said with the Logic track, man. That shit is fucking lazy. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, man. And today's article is about record labels are self-destructing. How record labels are shooting themselves in the foot by going out getting terrible rappers, making terrible music, promoting that shit, putting all of the money they got behind it just to get lackluster fucking sell. Many believe that they do this because they know what they talking about. But the truth is... They really just don't know shit. To go back on the Jay-Z song, man, they are still doing the same shit that they did back then that what they're doing now. Their plan only evolved but so much to include iTunes downloads type shit. But the whole promotional strategy on how to put all this on is the same shit. They have such egos thinking that whoever they pick and put their money behind, they're automatically going to be hot because they say they're going to be fucking hot. When there are rappers out there building their own true family, base from the bottom fucking up and they don't need these bastards no more. All of the money that they stacked up through the years is drying the fuck up and you can tell by how many of them are going bankrupt and how the other ones are buying them. Eventually there's going to be only one record label and that shit is going to falter. 